do dream team it's your boy d neil back with another reaction video guys we got the daily show with trevor noah donald trump receives a royal welcome in the uk before we dive into this y'all know i need you guys to smash that subscribe button ring the notification bell give the video a thumbs up let's do this trevor the united kingdom what was once the world's largest empire is now just a rainy island struggling with Brexit, a resigning prime minister, and a super spy who probably has a thousand STDs. <laughs> and on top of all of that, now they have to deal with Trump. The president and first lady touched down in England early this morning for the three-day state visit with one of America's closest allies. The first family received a royal welcome at Buckingham Palace mm. from Queen Elizabeth. Her Majesty then hosted a private lunch and afternoon tea for the Trumps. They then toured the palace's royal collection of art and historic gifts. Oh. The Queen did in fact give to President Trump a first edition of a Winston Churchill book on the Second oh. World War called Second World War. That's right. The Queen's gift for Donald Trump was a book. <laughs> <laughs> that book was a hint, hint Donald. Hey, you stay in other, you keep saying the things you're saying, you keep doing the things you're doing. There's going to be a new World War book published, dog. So, so, calm it down over there. That was the Queen subtly hitting, subtly hitting R.I.P. to the Queen. Either she doesn't know Trump or she's trolling him. <laughs> Why would you give Donald Trump a book? Everyone knows the man doesn't read. I wish I was there when the queen gave him his gift. She was like, here you go, Donald, a book about World War II. It's like, wow, this is sad. Yes, many lives were lost. No, I mean the fact that I have to read. It's so sad. <laughs> for real though, Donald Trump has no use for a book. It's a useless gift. It's like giving Stevie Wonder a fish tank. It's like, uh... <laughs> Trevor, what did Stevie do? What did Stevie do for you to have to bring him into this, Trevor? Stevie didn't do nothing, Trevor. You ain't had to do that. It's like giving Stevie Wonder a fish tank. Dog. That's dirty. So what, what's happening now, Stevie, is the blue one is swimming at the top, and now the the yellow one is, is swimming in a... You know what? You'd love it. You'd, you'd love it. I, I didn't think this through. <laughs> Now, I wouldn't be shocked. I wouldn't be shocked if the Queen was actually trolling Donald Trump, right? Yeah. Because over the weekend, he was in the news for a comment that he made about Princess Meghan Markle. And as if that wasn't bad enough, before he landed in the UK, he was also trading blows with the mayor of London. Ooh. As President Trump was departing for London last night, he took a shot at that city's mayor, Sadiq Khan, who's been a sharp critic of the president. Before even landing on British soil, he tweeted his disdain for London Mayor Sadiq Khan, Dang. whom he describes as a stone-cold loser. The two are not scheduled to meet. I don't think much of him. I think that he's a uh, he's the twin of de Blasio, except shorter. <laughs> I will say, God dang it. <laughs> what thing about Trump is he not going to mix his words. To the, his own detriment, to the detriment of the country, Trump will, is going to say exactly how he feels. He's going to say exactly what he's thinking. And Trump is one who means what he say and say what he means. So if he say something nasty or disgusting, he mean that. Like, they mean that, dog. Uh, <laughs> but if, yeah, he don't like you, if he like you, however he feel, he going to say it with his chest. He, he ain't going to hide it uh, or try to sugarcoat it or nothing. He will be very direct about it, god dang it. Wait, what? That's a really weird diss. This guy's shorter than Bill de Blasio. I don't know de Blasio. Everyone is shorter than Bill de Blasio. <laughs> guy's like seven feet tall. <clears throat> it's like someone being like, ha ha, this guy's less money than Jeff Bezos. Yeah, that's all of us. <laughs> It's also impressive that Donald Trump started a beef with London's mayor while he was still in the air. He sent his tweets ahead of, it's almost like he sends his beefs ahead of him so that he has something to do when he lands, yeah? Because otherwise he'd just have to pick a fight with a random palace guard, you know? He'd be like, nice hat loser, porn from the 70s called, they want their bush back. <laughs> oh, dude. No. Now, Trump didn't just go to the UK to roast the royal family and little de Blasio. No. He also went there 
to share some of that political acumen that he's so famous for. Mm -hmm. The president's already inflamed tensions here by weighing in on the fiery debate over the country's planned departure from the European Union. After criticizing and battled Prime Minister Theresa May during his last visit, now suggesting the pro-Brexit former mayor of London, Boris Johnson, would be a good candidate to succeed May, who leaves office this week. He's been a friend of mine. He's been very nice. I have a very good relationship with him. Yeah, they ain't, I, from what I heard about the UK, they ain't like Theresa or... <laughs> Hey, like Teresa or Boris. Guys, they say we got to get both of them up out of here. Dog. They ain't like either one of them. So this endorsement was not a good endorsement because the UK wasn't rocking with this man. Okay. Dang. Okay. They could be related. I see I see where you're going, Trevor. They could have a relation somewhere down the family line, dog. I can see it. I know y'all see it in this picture right here. We all we all see it, right? <laughs> We're all seeing the same thing. <laughs> yeah, of course he likes him. The UK is on the verge of electing a prime minister who looks exactly like Donald Trump. I mean, look at these guys. I've never seen two people who both look like failed clones of each other. <laughs> like, these guys look so much alike that if they wanted to, they could pull a parent trap, switch places, Probably. and no one would notice. <laughs> Probably. Uh, that was a good video, though. I like Trevor Noah. Absolutely hilarious guy. That's all we got for this. Make sure y'all subscribe, ring notification bell, give the video a thumbs up so it gets suggested. It's your boy, Daniel. Out.